Okay, cringe. On the surface, there's so much not quite right about her behavior in this video, and there's even more to talk about on a deeper woman level. Before we get into it though, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode of a Nigerian Take with Steel. And whilst you're at it, like and share this video. Honestly, I hope this video reaches more mid girls because why is no one talking about this? Okay. You may not know what the heck I'm going on about, but recently I did an episode about the Bumble vs. Women drama and I spoke on how feminism in dating has failed mid to unattractive girls the most. You can go watch that too and come back if you please. But back to this video, depending on who is watching, you could gather different things. But the key thing that stands out here is how all over him she is and how he seems slightly uncomfortable. He's barely reciprocating any of her advances and forcing a second kiss on his cheek after he narrowly dodged the first one. Sheesh, it's given thirsty and some people in the comment section were not having it somebody said the way she comes on to him while he is so disinterested needs to be studied cry face cry face cry face yeah i'm crying for her right now carrington blink twice which that's the guy's name by the way carrington blink twice if you need help is he being held hostage he did not want that kiss yeah no shit the poor man is dodging for his life girl he's scared of you leave him alone give that poor man space <laughs> I think you get the point. Now, some people also came to her defense claiming that it was all a joke and they are actually friends in real life. And this guy is apparently like that and he makes like flirty type content. I will get more into this angle in a bit, but first, there's another video of them together that she posted. Have a look. We're going to Omakase, uh, taking Tanita out and get some, uh, get like a seven course like sushi meal. Oh my God, that's so sexy and rich. I know. Boss has interracial couple. Boss has. Yeah. Boss has. <laughs> I'm about to be. Yeah, it's super big. It looks so big. That looks, does it look super thick? Super big. Don't tell me it looks super it looks big. Crazy. He does copy like he like his women. Black. Look, look at the waist, I'm sitting pretty as fuck right now. Have you been a black girl? Yeah, that was so good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's probably why he likes eating so much. Because he loves sushi. To be clear, they are both influencers with millions of followers. And all this happened in a collab between them. But from what I saw, she posted these two videos on her page and he didn't. Just something to take notes of to help buttress my next couple of observations. Now, back to the guy. He posted this video defending her and confirming what the more positive commenters had to say. Everything I do on this app is jokes. I I do not get involved in any drama. Everything is all good. Everybody, it is just a silly app, okay? The internet is not real, okay? Back to being silly all the time. Come on, come on. This is not what I do on here, okay? I love you guys. Move on. And to help Fanita's case a bit more, this is a video of him with another black woman. Say what you want to say to me now. Fanita video, the comments under this were cheering him on and some of them even taking digs at Fanita like this one. This one says, Fanita wish, this is what Fanita wanted. The treatment Fanita wanted, bah ha 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 ha, Fanita was really trying to recreate this. And might I add, the lady in this video doesn't look the least bit uncomfortable. It looks more like a video they had planned and discussed already. So yeah, maybe he does make flirtatious content. This brings me to the real problem with this whole situation. Everyone defending this woman may be correct about it being a joke, but is it a joke he is comfortable with? I may be wrong, but looking at him and observing his countenance, he seems really young. I'd say he's not more than 21 years old, and frankly, she looks slightly older than him. Again, I may be wrong, but let's say for a moment I'm correct. Let's flip the script, shall we? Picture a male influencer, slightly older than another, a female, 
being all over her like that and she's not reciprocating and him kissing her almost forcibly like that. What do you think the reaction online would look like? Now picture that scenario again and this time add their race to it. White male, black female. Yeah, I think you catch my drift. It's bad in any direction you think about it. And if truly they are friends, this boy is really just trying to spare her blushes because he probably already knows that she likes him or at least wants to sleep with him. And the feeling is not mutual. He didn't exactly defend her in his video. He only said we shouldn't take the internet seriously, meaning there's a good chance that he didn't appreciate her conduct, but just doesn't want to escalate the situation. Good on him really, but let's go back to her. Now that I filled you in on all the drama and outrage, let's get into it a bit deeper. So this girl didn't always look this slim. She used to be fat. She lost a lot of weight and I truly, truly admire that about her. But perhaps she now feels like she deserves better looking guys now that she's slim. I suppose that's okay. It's cool to like a guy, but how you conduct yourself around him is very important. In the second video, she's facing her ass towards him, asking him if it's big. What would they? It's so big. That looks, it looks super thick. Super big. No, tell me it looks super big. Stop it. Get some help. Even going as far as to ask him if he's had sex with a black girl. Have you had sex with a black girl? Oh Lord. Again. You know what? This has all the hallmarks of wanting someone you can't have because maybe they're slightly out of your league, still trying to get their attention anyway, and in the process end up repulsing them even more. The harder you try, the more they don't want you. It's a hard feeling, I get it. More or less everyone has been there at some point, but this, this is not okay, bloody hell. More to the point I raised about meat girls. Looking at her, she's a meat girl. Not too pretty, but pretty enough not to be considered unattractive. This is one trap a mid girl could fall into, especially as a younger woman. Because you're mid, you're not going to get all the male attention that a pretty girl would. I have a whole video explaining that dynamic and how it is more beneficial to be mid. You can go watch that too, but to touch on it briefly, some of the really attractive guys you like will not like you back until they get to know you beyond physical appearances. And most times, get this, get this, you won't make it that far with them. That's, that's just the harsh reality. So it kind of gets tricky for you as a meat girl. You could make a fool of yourself by chasing him and giving him this thirsty vibe. I don't recommend that. You could pile on your body count by using sex to try and make a guy like you. I spoke more on that in the Bumble video as well. I definitely don't recommend that. Or, or, you could control yourself, act natural, and wait for a great guy who is deserving of you to come along. I'm a meat girl, and I know what option I prefer. My name is Dio, and thank you for watching. Leave a comment on this video. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.